Yes, sir. It's your boy B. Hayes. We're back with another one, guys. So a lot of people keep asking the same question. What are your brackets, B. Hayes? And for the ones that don't know exactly what they mean, they mean what is my selling points? Or am I willing to sell AMC shares once the price starts to run up, guys? So let's go ahead and break it down, share my thoughts and my opinions in this video on where I believe, you know, good points would be. So for starters, guys, just go ahead and put this out there. I do believe a lot of people is, you know, jumping the gun. They want to talk about brackets and selling points at one of the worst times to do so. Being AM, being for the fact that AMC is at one of the lowest or the lowest points it's been throughout this whole movement. Now you want to start talking about selling points. So that's my take on it. I feel as if this topic could have waited until we at least got over that offense defense barrier. While I put us at at that thirty dollar, that thirty dollar. That $30 barrier, being above it, put us on offense, being below it, put us on defense. So I do believe it could have waited, but since it's now, it's here, the video's here, the people steady asking, I guess we can go ahead and put it out. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. And for starters, know that nobody knows exactly where the top is going to be or the bottom. So just as you can ease into your position, buying in, buying in your position, you can ease out your position. So don't think that you got to sell all your shares offload them all at one time just you know and miss out on the biggest parts the biggest the biggest runs because you definitely don't want to just you know sell off at one particular level and you don't want to just buy at one particular level it go both ways unless you doing a day trade if you want to stop for a short amount of time for you know in and out you could potentially buy all that in one book sell all in one book but whenever it's a more long-term investment as far as like amc and what we did here you definitely want to buy increments because you don't know how low this price could go and you also don't know how high it can go once it start to run so that's number one guys number two is you don't want to sell wherever someone else is selling you don't want to be looking at your favorite YouTuber, this, that, and the third, your, your favorite whoever, and be trying to sell at the same point that they sell at because you're going to beat yourself up about that. Your favorite YouTuber could sell theoretically at $500 to $1,000 per share and say AMC wants to shoot off to two, three grand the next day. And you mad at yourself beating yourself up because they had more shares than you. So they was able to be satisfied and happy with selling that that thousand dollars per share, hundreds of dollars, hundreds of dollars per share. But you had way less shares. And if you would have held on for a day and sold at your two to three thousand dollars per share, you would have ended up being a millionaire, multimillionaire. But since you didn't, now you only made, you know, still good money, a few hundred grand. But after you pay taxes, a little less. And now you're beating up yourself because you follow somebody else. So that's why I say always think for yourself. Always be your own CEO, guys. But it's always good to use somebody with a little more experience, a little more knowledge as a tool, as a little bit of homework to give you a little sense of direction about where you need to go. So that's what, you know, you will use them as, guys. But don't, you know, that's number two. Don't follow your favorite YouTuber, try to sell when he sell or your favorite advisor, or whoever the case may be. Number three, guys, know that there is going to be so much volatility that a lot of people sell orders will be they will get they will get skipped. That's the word for it, guys. Basically, what I mean by skipped is whenever you put in a, a sale order at a certain price. Or whatever you put in a buy order at a certain price, it could be, you know, to sell it or to sell it when it's running up or to buy something as it's coming down. You can be skipped. What I mean by skipped in line is we can say skipped in line is because it's like a first come first serve system. If somebody else put in a sale order at a thousand dollars before you and say once they get to a thousand dollars, it can both blow past a thousand and sell and don't even sell your shares because somebody else put in a thousand bid before you and they picked up theirs and sold theirs to the first person that was willing to buy them at those prices and then once it blew past that thousand dollars say if it went off the 12 1300 your sale order ain't in for that price so it ain't gonna trigger yours until it came back down to a thousand but once it came back down to a thousand hold on mama okay i'm gonna get you some more okay once it came back down to a thousand, now your order skipped again because it was slippage. 
your order didn't get fulfilled at the thousand on the way back down as well because it blew way too fast through it so that with the speed and the volatility at those levels and it flying past that thousand to the downside now your order didn't get placed there or there now it's you know it done maxed out it didn't hit what it's gonna hit now it's maxed out it's falling hard it's coming back down 900, 800, 700, 600, 500. Now you done missed out because you done put in that sale order. Y'all here, baby girl. I'm about to get you some, mama. You done put in that sale.